Kristen Vick here with you and today I wanted to share with you some embellishments that I'm going to be making. I'm participating in a swap of uh, an embellished card and I believe it's from Julia's Julie, Julia or Julie. Anyway, I'll be putting down in the description below the uh, link to her channel and she does uh, swaps and so I'm participating in a swap and I need to make some embellishments to put on a card and I figured I love recycling and you know how I collect these envelopes and I need to do stuff with them so I figured this would be a good idea so what I did is I took envelopes like this and I just opened them up with one of those little gizmos that opens up envelopes but you could use scissors if you don't have one of those it's just very handy and so now I've got all these envelopes that are ready to go I pulled out my uh, Tattered Angel sprays and I thought I was just going to spray these just for added interest because it's going to be a lot nicer to have embellishments with these papers than just having the regular, the regular envelope. So I've got, this was Sugar Plum Fairy, this one is Vine. think they're so pretty and then I've got medallion and then I've got pomegranate which is a dark color but I love it This one I totally opened up before I realized I could do this by just opening two sides up. This is corn flour and it's very pale. It's actually topaz now. It's a very, very pale blue. You can hardly see it, so let's put sapphire on top. This is a lot brighter. And. Uh, Want some I've got this is violet violet rose. This too is very pale, but I think it's gonna be pretty for little embellishments. So let's go back with the other ones that we've already done. Oh, I got another one that I want to try out. Clover. Should be pretty. This is a dizzy one. <laughs> Basically, you just spray and have fun with your sprays. It's a fun way of using them. I've done that, done that. Another one of those. That's showing up more on this paper, on this one. I guess it depends on the the color of your background too, eh? And this is paper that everybody has. This is not paper that is expensive. Everybody has envelopes that come through in the mail. At least for now. I wonder one day, probably one of these, there's a there's going to be less and less mail and we might actually not get envelopes anymore. But for now, we do. So now I've got this big pile. I'll go and make some embellishments and I'll come back and share them with you guys. So I'm back with the new embellishments that I made. I made two cards with them. And I think it, they turned out really cute. And here is a bunch of the embellishments that I made. So here is, and I use punches to make them because I don't use my punches a lot. So I combine a bunch of different punch 
like a heart punch and flower punch and a circle punch. And I've added a bit of bling. And I think it they really came out super cute. So very easy little embellishments that you can make that cost next to nothing. You just use some sprays and you use some uh, security envelopes that you have because every one of us gets them. I think most of us anyway get them. And, and in my case, I ask people at work, um, my workplace, to give them to me. So I have lots now. I think I could retire right now and I still have some for the rest of my life. And these are borders that I made with them. And I think those are also very cute and would be very fun on a project. Or to send in happy mail as well. So hope that inspires you to do something. Use up those inks. They're just wonderful stuff and uh, you can get, you can make awesome, awesome stuff with them. So that is it folks. Hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to leave comments down below and to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.